Tonight, family members of Portage Manor residents say they feel unheard and misled holding a press conference outside the county city building to share their frustrations. Monica Murphy has the story. Nobody cares, though. We've had a lot of broken promises, Mary. We've had a lot of broken promises. They don't care. Earlier this week, the St. Joe County Council voted to close Portage Manor. The facility houses those with mental illness and disabilities. Now the question people are asking is where will residents go? County officials say they are holding facility fairs and have a state ombudsman on site to help with the transition. But during a press conference Friday, family members of Portage Manor residents say options are limited. They should be accountable for this and, and see everything that we're seeing in black and white and see what our options are because they don't thoroughly understand. South Bend Homeless Shelter, Faith Mission, Hope Ministries. He obviously cannot live in any of these places. This is worthless. I, I didn't want to even take this piece of paper because it is an insult. It is just, it's disgusting that this is their answer to me. At last check, the closing date is slated for July 31st. The 31 days solid, from what I understand from downstate, that's the closing door day. They lock the doors on the 31st. If you ain't got a home, you're in the streets, no matter what they say. You know, this demographic really needed a Portage Manor, and there's more people out there that need Portage Manor, not only in our county, but throughout the state. Reporting in South Bend, I'm Monica Murphy, 16 News Now.